Hello, my friend. You know, it is quite normal for all of us to move between highs and lows, not just every day of our life, but also in the longer term of our life. So we can recognize periods where we feel quite on top of the world for a while, and then periods where we feel really low down or even completely a rock bottom. Now, if you start to recognize these variations on a more temporary basis, if you become aware of how your moods are changing as you live through the day, then you will become aware also of what triggers that. And it is really important to get at ease with that. These emotions, these moods, this being high or low, up or down, is related to things around you, things that are happening in the world, events that happen, but also to how you process that. Both things are true. So you need to learn to become more engaged with those events, but in a lighter way, not letting them get to you quite so much. And for these things on the inside, to observe what is happening and to play with it, to see it as the tides of the sea, as the waves in the sea, there is motion, emotion in you, and sometimes that emotion is high, sometimes it's low, but the point is, any kind of emotion, high or low, is a sign of life, and we will never be able to set our emotions at a constant high. It would be deadly, it would be unlivable. Nor can we live for a long time with our emotions being depressed, removed almost, blanked out, or really negative and low. So the trick is to get back into the swing of the emotions, to allow that flow to re-establish itself, not to fear it, not to chase the ups and fear the downs, but to be aware that you are responsive and that you're allowing the flow of life through you, which feels like emotion. You can play with that. You can not be so bothered by it. You can learn to work with it. And you can learn to appreciate that movement, as I said, as a sign that you are alive and engaged with the world. Things matter to you. But don't let them get to you. Stay in charge of your emotional life. Live it with enjoyment, whatever happens to it, and see where you get with that. Keep observing, my friend. Keep observing yourself and the world.